Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Brittany. Nice to finally meet you. So for today's video, we are going to be reviewing the new Kylie Cosmetics Lip Lush and also the new Dragon Beauty Dragon Glass Matte Lipstick. I am so, so excited to review these with you guys. They both actually launched at the same exact day, at the same exact time. So I thought, why not put them together and let's see how all of these lip formulas work. I'm also really excited to try out all of these new colors and see what you guys think about them. So if you're interested and you want to see how these formulas and lip colors look, please keep watching. Okay, so nothing against Miss Nikita Dragon. We all know that I love her, but if you know me, you know I am obsessed with Kylie Jenner. So of course we're going to start off with her products first. I got these three out of the four that she had launched, mainly because these three were my favorite. Um, The fourth one was a very dark brown. And I just didn't feel like I was going to personally like that one. So I didn't purchase that one. I just got these three. We're going to start off with the lightest one first. So we're going to start with Heaven Scent. So that's what the packaging looks like. We're cute and pink. So this is what the lip liner looks like. When you open it, there is supposed to be a little tip of color, but as you can see, mine is white. I have no idea why. So that's how it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen it really quick and then we'll try it. Okay, so here is the color of the lip liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lip liner. So the first thing that I noticed about this lip liner is that it's super, super easy to apply. It's so smooth and lightweight and it just feels very creamy and hydrating. It's also super pigmented, especially for being just a liner. You could even use it by itself, I feel. I feel like it looks very pretty even if I were to not even top it on. Now we're gonna go in with the Heaven Scent Lip Blush. This formula, even in the liquid lip, is also super, super lightweight and super creamy and you can see how easily it applied to my lips and I love that the liner is just one shade darker than the lip blush itself, which is awesome because I prefer a slightly darker tint to my liner because it just makes your lips look so much more defined and bigger. And who doesn't like bigger looking lips? <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna get into all natural. So with the all natural lip, the same thing happened in my packaging, but this one just has a very tiny tip to it. So again, I'm gonna go off camera and just sharpen that um, if I need to. Another thing that I'm noticing as far as the packaging, I don't know if this is normal or maybe if during the time that it was getting sent to me, it dried out or something, but there's so many like spots you know what I mean? Um, and before I had actually pulled out the applicator, like those little spots were all around the tube. Um, so that kind of like really bothered me. I'm really, really liking this one because it looks very natural and almost like my normal lip color. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lip blush over the liner. I think those little bubbles that were in there is causing the clumpiness at first. And I'm assuming that could be because of the heat throughout mailing it to me. I'm hoping that's what it is because I didn't have that in the other two. So this is what the All Natural Color lip looks like. I think this is so far my favorite, favorite one. It's just so, so pretty, and I love the natural pink tone that's in it. It's like not too dark, but not too light either. This next one is called Do You Boo. So this is so far what the lip liner looks like, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lip blush. So 
So this is what the lip is looking like for the Do You Boo. Definitely another one of my favorites. As for my final thoughts on the Kylie lip blushes, I have to say this one, the Heaven Scent, I really do like it. It's, it's a very, very pretty color. It has a bit of a pink hue to it. But as for the All Natural and the Do You Boo, I personally like these two a lot, a lot better just because they have more of the brown tones in it. And brown tones are obviously my favorite <laughs> Um, so that's what I think. I was really upset with how the lip liners came. I'm not sure if anybody else had that problem or if they were supposed to come like that. I'm not 100% sure, but I was a little bummed out because I've never seen her lip liners be like that or arrive like that. Um, so it just caught me a little bit off guard, but the formula is just so smooth and so comfortable to wear. And it's super, super easy to apply and a little bit goes a long, long way. I just had a little bit of trouble with the all natural one because that was the one that kind of had those bubbles in it and so when i first applied it it was a little bit clumpy but it smoothed out very very quickly right after using the little applicator one to go over it i feel like the color is super intense for being such a soft formula you would think that the color wouldn't be so pigmented but it really is and it honestly looks like i put dabs of lipstick and patted it over with my finger which is my favorite thing to do so i am obsessed with these to be fairly honest Honest, but I absolutely love them and I love the formula and I also love the pink packaging Let's move on to Dragon Beauty all right, so for our new Dragon Beauty Dragon Glass Matte Lipsticks, I got these two, which is Nikita and Horchata. These two, she said, were her absolute favorite and she loves to use them together. She did have like four other ones. I think there was like a black one and I want to say a purple, a red. And I can't remember what the other color was, but they just didn't fit to me. I personally like the natural colors. So I went ahead and picked up these two. So let's go ahead and try them. Them out and see how their formula is. So the first one I'm gonna go in is with Nikita. It's like this very pretty mauve color and I absolutely am obsessed with the packaging. It is so cute and crystally. I'm living for it. Let's see how she applies. So, so far, I think this is such a beautiful, beautiful mauve pale color. I personally haven't seen a color like this. I've seen so many mauves, but this one is more like on the pale side. And I think it's going to be a beautiful combo if you were to have like a brown lip or a brown um, lip liner to go with it. Which is why I think that she always combines the horchata with it. But it's a very creamy formula and it also applies just like the lip blushes from Kylie did. It was very, very lightweight. Again, super pigmented. It felt very soft and creamy. It's supposed to be matte, but I am seeing a bit of a shine to it. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit. Okay, so it's been about a minute and this is so far how it's looking dried. So as it was drying, I did notice that the color deoxidizes so it gets a little bit darker um, as it's drying, which is fine. I mean, it still is maintaining that like pale looking mauve color and you can see on my swatch it's drying up and it's getting a little bit darker than it was when I first swatched it so that's nice it's getting to the color that it is in the tube so far the formula feels very very comfortable and nice on my lips it doesn't feel drying whatsoever I'm really liking it so far but it did take a little bit longer than the other lippies that we tried to dry this one took about maybe a minute leaning towards two minutes and then with the kylie ones they took a matter of seconds to dry another thing to help them dry a little bit faster you can just dab it on your lips and that helps to take most of the shine away and make it a little bit more mattifying and dry faster also know that this formula does stain your lips a little bit i mean i only have the lipstick on for a few minutes maybe like four five at the most and it already stained my lips which i personally don't 
don't mind. I think the stain color is super, super pretty. But it's just going to kind of mess with um, the next color that we're going to apply. So I'm going to put just a little bit of foundation over my lips. That way these colors do not mix and you can really see the full effect of each one. The color is still kind of peeking through but not too crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the next one which is Horchata. I love the names that she chose. Like they're so unique and cute. Like it's so Nikita. You know what I mean? Again, love the crystal packaging. It's so, so pretty. Ooh, that is such a beautiful nude. I really love this brown color so far. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so I just applied the horchata and it has not completely dried yet, of course. Formula is still the same. Nothing changed between the lip colors. It is a very pale brown. I feel like this one is also going to um, deoxidize and get a little bit darker as it dries. So far, I can tell this is going to be a pretty color to combine with a darker nude lip and also even a dark brown lip liner. It would create the most beautiful nude lip. So I actually really Really, really like this color i don't like it alone by itself but i do see it working perfectly for combinations i'm gonna go ahead and try the two together so this is the color that it made together it made this very beautiful beautiful nude color and i have to say she was not lying like putting them together just makes all the difference for my final thoughts i am not the hugest fan of them separate but if they were combined with a darker lip liner or even combined with another lipstick they would be super super pretty to be the base colors for in the middle to really highlight but together they do make a very very beautiful nude i mean i would suggest her just putting these two together as one and making a whole other lipstick the formula was really really nice super lightweight super comfortable the only thing i didn't really like is that it takes a long while to dry it's still not 100% dry and the packaging was super super beautiful i love the crystal and the whole like bad bitch vibe that it gives me imagine pulling this out like oh let me just let me just put on my little dragon glass real quick like you know what I mean? But I really, really love it. My only complaint was just that it didn't dry so fast and the colors don't really complement my skin tone or my lips with Nikita and Horchata by themselves. But so yeah, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of these lips and if you are going to be purchasing any of them. Also, let me know if anything happened with your packaging when you got your um, Kylie Cosmetics lip blushes. Let me know. Also, don't forget to press that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified every Sunday, every time that I upload. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.